Johari Ghani has furiously denied claims he was silent on the Kampung Baru acquisition issue and slammed Amanas Khaled Samad for politicizing it in the lead-up to the 15th general election. He said he had repeatedly aired his views on the subject when he was a member of parliament and had even showed that an area in Kampung Baru could be redeveloped successfully, referring to the Uda legacy model which did not require the use of the controversial legislation. Uda Legacy, also known as Legacy Kampung Baru, is a condominium complex developed by Uda Property, then under the purview of Johari. It was completed in 2020. Its units, which currently boast values between 700,000 ringgit and 2.8 million ringgit, were offered to residents who accepted the redevelopment proposal made to them. Speaking to FMT, Johari pointed to an agreement between a developer and PKNS flat owners in Kampong Sungai Baru in November 2018, which troubles him to this very day. Located near the Saluma Bypass, the flats were 42 years old and in decrepit condition. The agreement, cited by FMT, was dated November 3, 2018, when Khalid was the Federal Territories Minister. Johari said Khalid and his predecessor Rina Harun were not familiar with various issues surrounding the agreement at the time it was entered. There would have been no need to resort to forcible acquisition if Khalid and Rina had paid greater attention to the matter from the very outset, Johari said. Moving forward, Johari said if given the mandate, he will resolve the matter in a fair and just way, adding we can repeat that success, referring to the Uda legacy project.